So I'm assuming you know what I'm talking about when I say you're in a rut. That is when you're feeling so irritated that you're so fixated on like a single problem. You just feel unmotivated and not able to do anything at all. Yes, there are so many ways to get out of rut, but a lot of them actually require a lot of effort and a lot of motivation, which is counterintuitive if you think about it. The problem of a rut is essentially that you don't have the motivation to do those kind of stuff. So instead, I'm offering you a alternative solution to getting out of a rut only takes a few minutes but works wonders and that is exactly what i'm doing right now going on a five to ten minute walk by yourself preferably in nature in a park and on top of that even more preferably um during sunset or sunrise so today i was feeling quite in a rut i've been sick for the past two three days and I just feel like my YouTube channel hasn't really been growing. I feel like my content hasn't really been touching people's hearts. It hasn't really provided as much value as I would have hoped. And it feels like the growth has slowed as well. And I've just been quite unmotivated. You know, on top of being sick, one way that I really helped combat it and to realign my direction was to go on these walks. Yesterday, I went all the way out to central London. I just wanted to get as far away as where I live. And I took a 30 minute seat ride to do that. And honestly, that feels amazing. You don't always have to go out only because you have some places to go. You can go out just for the sake of going out. This is something that I found immensely helpful for my own journey because most of the times when you're in a rut, you're gonna be at home for the whole day. You're gonna be in your bed, in your room. But most of the time you're in like, this really confined space for a very, very long time. And the way I see it by going outside, by seeing other humans or just seeing other dogs and even trees, seeing things that are nature related really helps you loosen up your focus and really get your mind going again. And that's something that I've only really picked up doing in the last two, three months, especially after reading a few books that talks about the benefit of just walking. So one that came to mind immediately is the work by Cal Newport. I think being bored and not doing something is one of those things that our society doesn't really value. Our society value the people who know how to instrumentalize time, who knows how to squeeze out all the productivity in all their time, which is something that I realize, you know, I'm a high achiever. I've always wanted to do as much as possible in the shortest amount of time. I'm that person who tries all the productivity hacks. I'm a person who's ultra competitive. You have to know that it's coming from a person like me, right? I'm saying that going on a walk with no agenda is something that you should be doing. So like the video, comment down below what you think about just going on a walk and subscribe if you like this kind of content and I will catch you really soon. Take care.